Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover setting up webhooks for Stripe in a fast API web app and how to run it locally using the Stripe CLI. This will build on the implementation from my previous video. If you're interested in that, you can click the link in the top right now. I'll also leave a link to the GitHub repo for that in the description as well. So the first thing to do is to install the Stripe CLI if you don't already have it. Stripe provides the instructions for setting it up depending on what operating system you're using. Once you're set up, you need to log in using the CLI. You can do this by running the Stripe login command. This will output a URL and a pairing code. If you open that URL, you can see the pairing code there and check to make sure it matches. And clicking allow access will finish the authentication which it tells us lasts for 90 days. Now that the CLI is set up, we can use it to forward events to our webhook. This is really useful if you want to test things locally without deploying, as it lets you use the local host address as your webhook. I'll be adding a webhook in our app with the creative path of webhook, so we can run the listen command with the Stripe CLI and tell it to forward to that address on the local host. This will tell us once it's ready and it will output a webhook secret we can use. We want to copy that and I'm going to set it as an environment variable to use in our endpoint. When it's running, if you open the Stripe dashboard, you can see this connection. Go to the developer section and then to webhooks. And you can see my desktop is set to receive events using the CLI. If you wanted to use a deployed environment instead, you can register an endpoint above by clicking add endpoint. In here, you give it the deployed URL. And if you know which events you're interested in, you can also have it filtered here. Useful for cutting out noise or if you want different webhooks to handle different events. Now we're set up with the CLI, we can add the endpoint to our app. As I mentioned earlier, I've added an endpoint that I've creatively put down as webhook. I'm going to use the request to get the body, and we'll need the Stripe signature from the header to validate the payload. And the first thing we need to do is to retrieve the webhook secret that we got earlier. We also need to update our imports and bring in header from FastAPI. Now we have the data from the request, we can use that to construct a webhook event using the Stripe library. We call the construct event function on the Stripe library, passing in the received data. And we use the webhook secret and the Stripe signature from the header to validate the event. Then we just pull out the event data that we're interested in. I wrap this in a basic try catch in case there are any issues and simply returning an error when raised. You probably want to do something smarter than that. Now we need to actually handle the events, and that's going to depend on what events you're looking for and what you want to do when they're triggered. There are many, many events you can look out for, as you can see here. So just find the ones you're interested in. Again, I'll leave a link to this in the description. I'm going to add just a few examples here so we can see it working. So I'm just going to finish up the endpoint. After the try catch, we get the event type from the constructed event. Then it's just a case of matching that to events we want to look out for. All I'm doing here is just printing out when we hit certain events because this isn't a real app. But you could trigger whatever you want here. For example, you might want to send emails to users if they fail a payment. Now we've got an endpoint ready and we have the Stripe CLI forwarding events to our locally running webhook. So if we run the app, and make sure we're forwarding events. We can trigger some events and see it working. So if I open the web page and click through to subscribe to a product, I can go back to the terminal and see the first event has been registered. We have an unhandled event. In the previous video, I set it up to create a customer before registering a subscription. And here we can see that a customer created event has been raised. This didn't match any of the event types I set up, so it's been printed out as an unhandled event. So if I go back to the web page again 
and subscribe to a product successfully. I can then go back to the terminal and we can see a bunch of events have been raised by Stripe. Most of these are unhandled events that I haven't configured the endpoint to handle. But we can also see two events that have been matched, checkout session completed and invoice paid. In your real app, you'd trigger specific functionality when events were matched, but for a demo purposes, this works. And that's it. You've now got a locally running endpoint to use as a webhook for Stripe by using the Stripe CLI. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.